Hey, it's Craig again with MyDJKJ.com. And uh, what I wanted to kind of go over was some tips for hosting a karaoke show. Now, there's a lot of great uh, different software out there. And just the best way to do it is almost every good software has where you can download a free trial. And I highly suggest doing that. Um, that's what I did years ago when I started getting into karaoke and I still do it once a year if not several times throughout the year just checking out the new updates with all the software being familiar with the software and and not trying to be stuck in a rut where you're used to one thing and that's all you're gonna do you know you want to always check out new and different software to see what's going to help you run the most productive show that you need to run. And now with the newest technology out there, not only do they do regular updates to keep, you know, to fix bugs and, and, and uh, do different fixes that they need to do on the actual software, but they also add new things like the software that I use. I actually had a new update just a few months ago where it comes with its own app. And so you could walk out in front where your audience is setting, where your clientele is setting, and you can actually pull up the app and you can make some minor adjustments, some basic adjustments. Now I imagine through time it'll get fancier and more advanced, but it's a great start. I can also start my background music since the software I use doesn't have it to where when the karaoke song is over it, it automatically starts. The, um, it doesn't automatically trigger your filler music so but I can it's okay because I don't mind having that control all I have to do is simply pull up my app and hit start or I could do it on the computer either way but it gives me an opportunity to step out in front hear what everybody else is hearing and then I can mingle with those people once I have the sound adjusted also another cool thing that is going on is uh, Berger, Mackie, uh, Presonus, um, and even Allen and Heath have now rack mounted digital mixers. And I'm sure there's other companies out there, those are just the ones I can think of offhand. But they have rack mounted digital mixers where all you have is a stage box where you can plug in uh, your microphones, your laptop, your music, whatever you're using to play your music, whether a CD player, a, a karaoke player, if you got multiple inputs, it allows for multiple inputs. You can plug in different microphones and you can even use them for small, you know, to a little bit bigger bands. I mean, they even come up with 32, you know, channel versions of these. They could all be controlled by an app and, and, and must be controlled by an app as there is no actual console for the mixing board. So it's rack mounted. You can rack mount it right in with your amplifiers they can sit on a nice uh, right into a nice rack up on the stage or by the stage and you can control it all from an app once again letting you get out in the crowd with your clientele and, and with other people and see what you know or hear what they're hearing and see what they're seeing and you can control it all by just by using an app that's either on your phone and I think most of them have Android and the actual, uh, uh, you know, can be used with Apple uh, software like the iPhones and, and their tablets. So either way, it, they're either Android friendly or they're Apple friendly. And so you can easily control them with your favorite tablet or uh, smartphone. And so not only can you do that, but you could also have apps that bring the karaoke book. So there's a lot of great new technology. Go ahead and comment below on what you think, what your favorite is, if you've used any of these, what you like and don't like about these different uh, mixers, apps, whichever. And then also don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be investing in a lot of different ones and we're gonna be telling you the ones that we like, why we like them, and the ones we don't like and why we don't like them, or which ones we prefer. Usually, no matter what you buy, it's got its pros and cons. And we'll go over what we feel and what we think about them. Doesn't mean you're not going to like them or you're going to love them. It's just going to give you an idea of what we 
you know, what we encounter as hosts in our different karaoke shows. So don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. <coughs> and we'll see you with more YouTube videos. Once again, Craig with MyDJKJ.com. Take care and have a good time.